hi everyone. I finally have enough signal to do my very first live stream here. Thanks for people for put, uh, thanks to people for putting up with my herp derp moments and my technological difficulties while on the ground. Well, we're at Berkeley. Um, this was less of a b battle for Berkeley. This was more of a victory parade for Patriots, uh, MAGA bros, uh, for the Proud Boys, of course. Now, I just want to tell you a little bit about what's going on right now. I'm going to give you a bit of a recap of the day before I head out and put together some of the awesome vids that we got for you guys. I'm just going to move out here for a second, and what you'll see is... Dun, 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 police line. Why? Because on the other side are a bunch of mainly unmasked anti fun people. Um, so there, there's a couple of Antifa folks over there, mostly college professors. And I have to say, Baked Alaska and a couple of the guys were going around and doing the rounds and talking to some of them. The young folks are actually willing to engage in debate. I think that there is a little bit of curiosity. I think some of them are kind of like, oh, my brain hasn't worked before. Wow, this kind of feels nice. Oh, my ideas suck. And so they're engaged. We're like, yeah, we, we don't like Nazis either. Yeah, we don't like racists either. Yeah, we don't like sexists either. And it's like, okay, well, we're, we're fraternizing. This is cool. The college professors and the older, the, the top of the Antifa spear, um, they flipped the bird a bunch of times. They did not want to answer a simple question like, hey, do you believe in free speech? Um, what I found from just about everyone that I talked to here from the like Patriot side is that there is a huge movement now to see Antifa labeled a terrorist organization. Make no mistake, these folks have deployed tear gas before. Uh, they've made uh, plans for acid attacks. You'll remember um, Jack and Cernovich's uh, deplorable and what we saw there. Um, they've lit cars on fire, this guy. Um, they, they've, they've attacked men and women. They've, they've, they've destroyed private property. Um, they have, not the fringe, but at the very core, Antifa has used violence to achieve their political ends. Guess what the definition of terrorism is? It's exactly that, ladies and gentlemen. So I, I, wanna, I wanna point my fellow Americans. Uh, it's a Canadian here, right? You got myself, you got Lauren, you got Gavin McInnes. If only Stephen Crowder was here, you'd have all the Canadians over here telling you what to do with your country. We do it because we love you and because you're the freest nation on earth. And if you guys lose your freedom, then the rest of the world is screwed. So you don't mind if your neighbors pop down every once in a while. But, but I, I will point Americans to the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act, although it's changed over the years, it does lay out uh, the definition of domestic terrorism. And I think that, that, that just going through the checklist, you'll realize Antifa takes every damn box. You want to come out here? You want to protest? You're a lefty, you're a progressive, you hate Donald Trump? Come on out. Let's do it. Free speech, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, freedom of thought. It's not for your basement. It's for the streets. Come on out here. Let's, let's do it. Let's march. You want to start throwing, you know, serious-sized rocks? You want to start beating people down? You want to start macing innocent women? You want to start burning cars? Nuh uh We should not have any sort of tolerance for that whatsoever. And so I hope President Donald J. Trump, I hope the FBI, and even, even at, at, at a, a lower level, you know, I, I, turn these guys into, into a criminal organization or a terrorist organization. I don't know what, but all I know is that they're incredibly well organized, they're incredibly well funded from people who love civilian population unrest. Um, and, and it's time that we wake up, realize that this civil war is not on the horizon, but at our feet, and we got to start doing something about it. It was really great to see everyone come out to a huge uh, crowd. Uh, Gavin actually read it through all of Coulter's speech, which was really cool. Um, obviously, we got our sheet in it. No, don't, don't tell Gavin I said that I love him. Um, Gavin was on fire. Lauren was on fire. Britt Pettibone was on fire. We had Latina for Trump out here. It was awesome, and it was also like a super duper like diverse crowd. I don't mean to be like that person who like counts like like I don't know tokens and stuff like that. But it was hilarious. At one point, we'll put the visit together for you in a bit. But this one lady, who was a black woman, who was who was a progressive, came and she started spitting on us and being like, "Ah, you guys are the enemy." And and another black woman was there and was like, "You do not understand what's going on here." So the good news is is that there is a cultural. And, and I think intellectual renaissance that is occurring right now, and it is nowhere more vibrant than it is with the millennial generation. And to see all these young Trump bros and girls as well from across the ethnic and, and social and economic spectrum coming together in defense of free speech and doing so in a peaceful manner um, proves that we're making inroads, proves that we are the peacemakers, and, and proves hopefully that Antifa is on the decline. So why don't we kick them while they're down? figuratively speaking, label them a terrorist organization, and maybe then we can all just live in peace and harmony and exercise our freedoms where we should, on the streets, even if we disagree. All right, thanks so much, folks. Uh, feel free to uh, tweet at me if you have got any other further questions. We'll have Viz up for you shortly. We're just going to head back home and uh, put some of that on the rebel.media. And also, uh, my colleague Jack, whom I love and is amazing, and we're so lucky to have him, just started a uh, petition to label Antifa a terrorist organization. 
If you're into that sort of thing, stopantifa.com. Go support a brother. Um, let's just get this all together. Let's get this movement uh, having a little bit of, uh, you know, commotion behind it. And then who knows? Maybe the president himself will pay attention. All right. God bless everyone. Thanks so much. Stay safe.